In this day and era, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok blogging seem to be taking attention away from the normal website blogging that we used to know back in the days. But just in case you don't know, a monetized blog site with good traffic can earn between 500 to 5,000 US dollars in a month. And according to Google, some blogs even earn as much as 50,000 US dollars in a single month, and even more. No wonder Linda Ikeji Bori House in Banana Island. <laughs> in this video, I will teach you how to write successful blog articles that will not be flagged by Google for plagiarism or labeled as an AI-generated content. A quick disclaimer, if you are watching this video and you want to start making money from blogging like tomorrow, please click out. Blogging is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You must definitely put in the work, but it's going to be worth it in the long term. My name is Waterfred One, and for those who are still interested, let's get moving right now. So the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to need a computer to do this. So open your computer and then open up your browser. Okay, go to these two websites, quitex.com. Okay, open it, log in. Okay, I'll explain these websites in a bit. Okay, and then you go to Qbots.com. Qbots.com, okay? Just open Qbots.com. Okay, so once you have these two websites opened, the next thing you are going to do now is to start what? Sorting your articles. You now start, start what? Looking for your articles. Now, remember that as I'm doing this, I already assume that you have a website. Okay, but if you are watching this, I know some of you that are watching this don't have a website yet. Yes, I know. So, but it still doesn't mean that this video is not for you. Okay, I'm going to tell you the best way you can get a website and, uh, but that will be at the end of the video. Okay, but right now, let's focus on the main topic of this video of how to write a successful blog article. Okay, so now, of course, your niche, you know your niche already. You know what you're writing about. You know whether you're writing about news or about sports or about tech whatever you're writing about now let me assume that you are writing about tech okay now let us first of all let's search let's say you want to search for you want to write about iphone 15 okay you just search for iphone 15 iphone 15 just search iphone 15 on google okay and what are you going to do this this app will open about four articles on this okay open about four articles while they are loading, come to your desktop or wherever and open a new Microsoft document, okay? And write it. You can title it anything. iPhone 15, iPhone 15 article, okay? And then after doing this, open a new text document, okay? You need these two. You need these two. I will tell you why in a bit. Okay, you can name them the same thing or whatever. Okay, now when you open these two stuff, come here and then take a look at the articles that you opened. Okay, there are three categories of writing methods. Okay, now the first one, the first method is for the hardworking writers, the second method is for the lazy writers, and the third method is for the very lazy writers for the hardworking writers what they are going to do is what come to all these articles open them up and you will read information about iphone 15 or iphone 15 pro max or whatever and then on your own you start rewriting them now you do not copy and paste what you do is what you read just the way you write in school while you are in school the way you write comprehension you read you turn them in your own sentence and you write them in the ms word document that you just opened after that after doing that just come to this place let me give you an ex let me give you a quick example okay okay when you go to my website okay this is one of my websites okay this is just a young website i just opened i've just been posting here now when you go to my website and you search iphone okay let me just give you an example of an article that i wrote with the first method which is the hard working method okay let us say this article now okay or this one open it up okay 
now when you open up this article okay you will see i wrote about 1500 to two, i think 2000 words on this article okay now and i manually did this i manually typed all of this it took me like a, a whole day okay or like one article per day but i did this manually now if you come here and you copy all this okay and you copy the text okay let me copy the text quickly and we'll continue this video okay now i've copied this article and i pasted it you can see i've copied the article and i pasted it in a uh, on this text document the reason i didn't take it directly to ms word is so i to remove all all formatting stuff on it you know colors whatever formatting stuff on it so that's why it's good to first of all paste it in this text document this tst document okay this this is it so i copy all of it okay and then copy okay now you come to you come to this website quittext.com okay remember this method is for the hard-working writers okay where you write manually okay now i've written that article manually i wrote it manually i know by taking points from different friends articles that i saw online and then i typed it manually i did it myself i didn't copy and paste okay so when you are done doing that just come to this quick text and you what you control v you paste it the reason why it's good for you to also do this is because even when you are writing from your own head when you are just summarizing or writing stuff on your own you are a human being and you may use the same kind of sentence or text that someone else has used before and it may still fall under plagiarism so it's good for you to also check it now you check for plagiarism and ai so you click on it and spare it like five to ten minutes or less okay very good now you can see that plagiarism is what 100 percent and ai score is this now let us click on ai score the detector is highly confidential that this text is written entirely by a human being yes now let us take at the plagiarism now the plagiarism match with what my website waterfred1.com and it is what 100 percent similar now the issue is what i have written this article already and i have posted it on my website so now immediately you copy it and you paste it here you can see 100 percent of it that this article was copied okay now but when you type your own manually and you put it here it's going to tell you the places that we are plagiarized okay and uh, if it's ai generated now now this is for the hard working methods you type manually you type it manually summarize on your own without copying from someone else now let us now assume that i am a lazy writer and i've got to my website i've gotten to waterfred1.com and i've stolen waterfred once article what am i going to do in order to make it my own in order to make google not to detect it as a plagiarized article and then so i can pay, so i can post it on my own website come to this website okay quibot.com and log in okay and then also remember that for you to get exclusive uh access to all this like have unlimited words you have you have to pay pay for it okay this quibot and this and this quit test these two websites you need to pay for them okay but it's worth it okay and i've been using them and i've been enjoying them okay stay in english leave it as standard or creative anyone you like standard or creative and then you paste your texts you can see 2196 words and what are you going to do remember there are three levels here the fewer changes you make the more accurate this will more changes less accurate remember you need to make more changes because when you it has fewer changes it can easily be detected by google as a as a plagiarized article so you have three levels level one here level two here level three here okay so this is level three is already doing but this is not what we want just let us refresh and i just want to teach you something that's why i'm clicking there okay so let us paste it again let us paste the article again okay so you can see we leave it at level three here okay and what are we going to do standard then we click on paraphrase okay I'll give it a few minutes. Okay, you can see now that it is done. Okay, it is done. And what are you going to do? Copy it. Okay, just copy the full text. Come back to this place and you refresh it. Okay. 
So it will start fresh. Click on this search. Sorry, click on this search here. Yeah. And then you paste, okay? Paste it. And then check again for plagiarism and AI, okay? Okay, now you can see that the result is now out. Now, first of all, let us go to the AI score. It says our, our detector is highly confident that this text is written entirely by a human. And you can now see that the plagiarism is just worth 9%. This article has been rewritten to almost an original article. So what are you going to do? Click on this plagiarism right here. And you can now see what the places that are plagiarized. You can see that 9 sentences or 9 phrases are what plagiarized. Now, this is the first one you can see. Probably is a question you've been asking yourself. You can see this is the second one, the third one, the, la the fourth one, like that, till the ninth one. Now, what are you going to do to make this article a completely new article? Copy this, copy, copy this text. You know, this is this text that you just pasted here that you copied. This is it. Okay, this is the article. This one that we copied. You know, this is what we, te we checked. Now, go to your Microsoft Documents. Go to your Microsoft Documents and open it. So just open your MS Word and you come to your page layout. Go to your margins and make a narrow margin. Okay. What are you going to do? Paste. Okay. Remember, this is exactly the article that we paraphrased, okay? Don't forget that this is the article we got from Quibot. This is the original article from waterfreedom.com. This is the paraphrased article, okay? Yeah, the paraphrased article that we got, okay? Yeah, you can see it. Overview, don't be overly certain that, okay? Overview, don't be overly certain that, okay? Now, this is it. And we have checked this article for plagiarism and AI score. And you can see that we have just 9% of it matching because we already paraphrased it here on Quibot, okay? Yes. So what are we going to do now? Let us go back to the first one. You see that what? It is probably it is probably a question if you're asking yourself, this is it. This article here is matching. And you can see the place is matching, okay? So what are we going to do? We need to change this article. We have to rewrite it. And let me just give you an example of what we're going to do. Come here, copy, probably a question. Just copy it. Come to MS Word and you click on what? Control F. You paste it, okay? And you click Find Next, okay? Yes, you can see now that it is probably a question you've been asking yourself. This is that particular sentence that is matching. You can see it's probably a question you've been asking yourself. So we'll come here and we'll write that one. Okay, you can see we've changed it to what you must have been you must have been wanting to know, right? Okay, now you notice that what we have removed the first one. Okay, we've removed the first one. Now we go again to the second one. Okay, this is the second. You see, this is this is one here. So this is the second one. Better yet, it has it has improved water resistance. This and this. So you can just what. Click on this, select better yet. You don't need to select all of them, just a little bit of it. It will take you to where that particular sentence is. You paste, you type, you can see it. Better yet, it has improved water resistance, this and this. So just copy and make sure you change all of them, the nine of them. And when you are done, copy the whole article once more and check it. Okay, if you check it, all of them will be gone. All of them will be gone. Now, for, as an example, let me just give you an example. Okay, now that I've done just one, let us copy it again to save time. To save time, let's copy it again. You know, we have 9% plagiarized and we have 9 matches here. I've just changed only one. Let us check it again and know if it will reduce to like it. Okay, I paste and then I check again. Okay. Okay, now if you look now, you can see that plagiarism matches is now what? Eight. It is now what? Eight. 
you can see that total plagiarism matches is now at eight so if you look up now look at the first one that first thing we wrote is no longer there it is just what another thing okay better yet is the first one now you can see it that better yet is the first one okay it has reduced to eight so by the time you repeat you do all of this you change all of them okay or probably delete off those ones but if you delete them, the sentence may not be complete. That's why it's always good to rewrite them. Okay, rewrite it. Okay, just do a little work and rewrite them, and they'll be gone. We had nine matches before, now we're just having eight matches. Okay, so I don't want to start changing all of them in this video. If not, it's going to be too long. Okay, so that is the way to write for very lazy writers. Now, the difference between the lazy writers and the very lazy writers is what? what? The lazy writers don't copy one whole article they copy from different sources okay you open the website you copy this paragraph you copy you copy the next let's say uh there is these are super egos let's say the match nigeria versus cameroon 2023 afcon okay that, that, that was played few days ago okay so you you come here, open like three articles, okay? This is the second article, okay? On waterfredron.com, this is the first article, and this is the third one, okay? Now, what are you going to do? Instead of copying one whole article, you copy paragraphs. You copy paragraphs. You can come and decide to copy from here. Just copy, first of all, from here, okay? Copy a little okay of this one let us get a new document or let's select everything and clear it we paste the first on and remember i always recommend you go to you paste you first of all paste in a on notepad okay always paste on notepad first it will help you remove all the formatting issues you can see you come here then you can come to the second article this is the second article. You can now see I'm done with intro. This one, uh, this first paragraph is talking about introduction. So you can start with the second, with the lineup. You copy this one. Okay. You paste here. You go down. You go to the third article. Okay. This is the third article. And, you know, you copy this one too. Okay. But one thing you have to realize is that what, whenever you're copying all this, you still need to be going through it so you, it will make sense, okay? So after copying from different, different sources or different, different articles, that is where you now, will you now select all of them. When you select all of them, you now move to this, uh, to Quibot and you do what? You paraphrase it, okay? After paraphrasing, you go to Quitex like I did before and you what? Scan for AI and plagiarism, okay? So the hardworking guy doesn't copy at all. He types everything. You can see, just because I pasted this indirectly, you can see he has some formatting. You can see what I mean, all these things, all these colors. That's why it's first of all good for you to paste in text documents, okay? So like I said before, or like as I was saying, the hardworking guy doesn't copy. He just reads it and types, which is the method I mostly use. And that method is creates more, most, the most original content. Then the lazy writer copies from different sources, you know, the different paragraphs of different, different sources or articles, and then goes towards to paraphrase to keyboard, this keyboard to paraphrase. Okay, let's refresh it. So the, the laser writer copies and then comes to this place and what you paste the test here, paste here, and then you paraphrase. And then the result you got here, you copy it, and you come to this place and check for plagiarism and AI. While the very lazy writer copies one full article, paraphrases, and then checks for AI. Okay, and remember that after checking for AI and plagiarism, you still have to re-edit. You still have to what re-edit the particular sentences that or the particular sentence or phrases that matched the plagiarism check in case if you don't have a website okay i highly recommend wordpress there is there is no hidden secret about it or wordpress okay get a web designer to design a website for you and then you can go to to youtube to learn how to post on your website 
that is a very broad topic websites posting uh, or designing is a very broad topic so if you're not a web designer get someone to design a website for you okay on whatever article you on, on however you want it if you're if you write if you are writing about blogs about news or whatever just learn about how you can be posting on it you don't have to be a web designer you don't have to learn how to web to design a website if you want to learn it fine but someone can design for you and you can start what posting on your website okay so that is it for this video guys i'm going to leave all the links to this website in my youtube video description okay so that you can sign up okay after you've made about 30 to about 20 to 30 posts okay you can apply for google license monetization and ads can and start appearing on your site and you start making your money if google finds your website advertiser friendly and what do i mean that by that you have original content that is not plagiarized that is not ai generated and people are interested in your content so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching till this point thank you so much for watching till the end i really appreciate it if you gained any value in this one please give me a thumbs up if you did not smash this like two times and tell me why in the comment section do share my videos on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms so that other people too can gain true value just like the way you've gotten. Thank you once more. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in my next video.